Hi there. Ivan here. Welcome in to another video in my deep dive series. I recently introduced these deep dive videos as a slightly longer format YouTube video, giving me the opportunity to spend a little more time digging a little deeper into some topics related to haircutting. A lot of my more recent videos, especially in the Keep Haircutting Simple series, have been pretty short and pretty simple. So if you're digging the deep dives, remember, like, comment, share, turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel, share the video with a friend in the beauty and barber industry who might also benefit from it. Today in our deep dive, we're going to get into some techniques using our one comb. If you follow me, you know that I recently introduced one comb. One comb is the one comb you need for all your professional haircutting. You only need one comb, says it right there on the package. I've designed the comb with 18 unique features to make it the ultimate choice in professional haircutting. All 18 features are spelled out on the back of the card. There's a QR code on the back of the card to send you to the YouTube playlist that breaks out and breaks down a lot of how you use one comb and what's going on with this new exciting and creative tool. But as I showed videos of the features and benefits, I did get comments from some folks saying, cool features, I like it, show me in action. Show me what it can do when you do what you do with one comb. A professional hair cutter picks up one comb. So what we're going to do is you're going to walk you through a number of features as we explore some hair cutting. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the sectioning tooth. I've got one here and I've got one there, depending on which of the combs I want to focus on right now. That's going to help me do nice clean sections, clean partings for base partings. As always, we're going to hold that out of the way with a gripper just so it is segregated. And we're going to go into scissor cutting. Now, you can scissor cut with any of the combs on one comb, but I'm specifically going to demo the dual texture or the dual tension uh, tooth comb that's on the small end of the comb and the triple tooth comb on the large end. With the triple tooth comb, I can take vertical partings, I can comb here out and away from the head, and I can come up in straight vertical sides. When we're doing men's hair cutting, a lot of times, or traditional geometric shapes, we want that vertical strength in our haircuts. So vertical cutting over the back of our fingers just makes sense. I can take these sections, I can comb them out. The nice thing about the triple teeth is I can get as deep into those teeth as I need for additional tension. I can switch to the dual tension side. That's the two tooth side of the comb. If I want to come up in through here, and use that side of the comb as well. Again, the sectioning tooth helps me get a clean vertical parting. I come in, I comb and I hold and I cut, and I look for my guide, and I'm able to make nice clean vertical sections. By taking vertical sections sideways through the head, I'm building up a nice strong silhouette and a sidewall shape that's gonna look awesome. Look for the guide, comb, hold, and cut. Notice the comb is easily manipulated in my hand. I've got notches for tension and grip, I've got surface texture, and the ruler, the running ruler or the running ridge that runs down the center of the large portion of the comb, in this capacity can serve as a grip, as an easy way to get a good grip on the comb. That's why it's a raised or elevated ridge like that. And when I put the comb in the opposite hand, it pulls out of the way and down the side like that, making it super easy to get vertical sections and do some nice hair cutting in that way. Now, I'm just going to take in that sideburn a little bit. We've worked that down a little bit. Now it's time to look at clipper over comb. We're going to look at some clipper cutting. Scissors down, clipper up. I'm going to go with clipper over comb, so I'm going to invert my one comb. I'm going to go to the clipper side. Now, I've got wide, deep teeth and a nice smooth surface, and the running rail allows me to sit right on that ruler and beautifully come up the head like that. The thumb position with our finger lets me roll the comb out to come in and do my tapering. Clipper over comb. I'm rolling the comb, and I'm rolling the comb, and I'm rolling the comb. The teeth of the triple tooth comb serve as my platform against which I roll the comb as I come up the head. As I come up the head like that, I'm creating beautiful tapering and a nice smooth surface. I can come in right here at the sideburn and begin to taper this in as well. Now in the area at the sideburn where the hair is shorter, I can come off the ridge and work straight on the teeth. 
And if I want to get closer, I can flip that comb around and I can go to my dual texture teeth. Now I don't have the running ridge on this side of the comb. I'm able to taper in a lot closer and tighter with my clipper. Again, continuing clipper over comb and working up and around. Now, clipper down, we're going to go to our trimmer. Didn't bring my trimmer over here. I'm going to go grab my trimmer. Hang with me here. You'll still hear me. You won't see me. And one, two, three. I'm back. Had it plugged in. Now I got a lot of gas. I've got my trimmer. Most of my trimmer work with this tool is going to be done on the small end of the tool. I can use the triple tooth, I'm sorry, the dual teeth, the dual tension comb for my clipper over comb work on the small end. But when I want to get really close, I simply flip it over and now this comb is its thinnest. I've got my finest teeth and my thinnest example of working thickness. So I can come in here with the dual tension side for more tapering at the edge. And when I want to do my fine finishing work, I simply can switch to the small end. Now you'll notice this end of the comb is flexible. You see me bending the comb. You see me applying pressure to the head with that small end and arcing it out almost like a curve comb. Springs right back. It's made out of a flexible material and it's more flexible on the small end. The ruler inches on one side, centimeters on the other, gives me the additional stiffness on this end that is perfect for scissor over comb and clipper over comb. But down on this end, I want some of that give and some of that flexibility. So I'll just continue to flip my comb around so I always have in my hand the comb I need and the comb I want for the work I want to do. Speaking of which, now I'm feeling like some blending scissors. I've tapered that in nicely. I've cleaned around the ear a little bit. I still have some lining, edging, and detailing to do. But now I want to pick up my blending scissors and I go to my dual tension teeth on this side of the comb. My duals are perfect for this. And if the hair's a little thicker and you need a little different level of tension, I can go to the triple tooth side. I can go to the triple tooth side and lift the hair with that and introduce it into my blending scissors in much the same way. So I have the option of whichever comb side is appropriate for the texture and the technique that I'm after. I'm going to go back to my trimmer. I'm going to go back to my finishing comb. Now I'm going to come in and detail this just a little bit. I'm working just with my trimmer. But where I need to, roll it around and bring it in. And notice on the small end, when I'm working the small end, the large end becomes my hand grip. And I've got a lot of control because I've got my hand open. My fingers aren't pinched really tight where I'm impinging the thumb, causing stress at the wrist. It's a much larger open hand hold there and much more comfortable for extended use. And notice it's a roll of the whole hand. It's not tiny manipulations and small movements. Now, the next thing I want to take a look at, we segregated that top with a clip. And now when I comb this out, I've got some overhang. I want to talk about up and in clipper cutting. Up and in clipper cutting is the technique that I refer to when we talk about tapering from below as we did before. And then we start moving up and in and into the interior of the haircut. When we go up and in, I'm going to go to underhand clipper position and I am just going to continue to elevate sections of hair and I'm running right on the ruler, right on the rail. Call it a ruler, call it a rail. It provides stiffness or thickness to the comb. It also provides a smooth surface and a controlled distance and measure for cutting across the head like that. And look how nicely in profile from the camera you can see that lays in, lays out, and blends down and blends together. That's a bit of a deep dive on some techniques. Recap, we talked about vertical cutting with scissors. We talked about clipper over comb. We talked about detail and trimmer work both with our triple tooth and our dual tension comb. 
we talked about lining, edging, and trimming using our fine tooth comb, and then we went back to clipper and clipper comb for up and over cutting to come into the, and blend in and layer out the top of our haircut. Lots of flexibility, lots of viability, lots of techniques. That is one comb. You only need one comb. And did I mention the color? Red, mid-tone, not black, not white. Dark hair, light combs, light hair, dark combs with a mid-tone comb. You can see everything in the comb. There's a link in the video description to go online to purchase your one comb today. I hope you will. I hope you'll let me know what you think of the video and of one comb. Thanks for being here for a deep dive. Come back again and we'll dive back in. Have a great day.